The reason we remove trees is because it is the only way to ensure that we have 100% eradicated that beetle from that tree, from that area. It is the most effective way to combat, combat this insect. Uh, we do this because in the, in the grand scheme of things, we're looking to protect not only this community, not only Massachusetts, but New England as a whole and north, the northeastern forests. So having uh, Asian longhorn beetle present here in Massachusetts, uh, it being an invasive species, it is going to have a negative impact on the forest. It's going to affect the, the trees. It feeds on 12 different host genera of trees. And uh, with climate change, if the temperatures continued to warm, uh, what you would see is the potential that this beetle can live longer uh, in its adult stage, therefore infesting more trees and having the opportunity to spread even further than it can right now. The insect starts from chewing an overposition egg site on the outside and the larva burrows in under the bark in the process cutting off flow of nutrients and water up and down that tree. Uh, furthermore, it burrows into the, in the center of the tree where it pupates and then later emerges, which then causes structural damage to that tree as well as keep, makes an open pathway for other pathogens to enter in. With an ALB infestation, essentially that tree is being, being eaten from the inside out. And now after the tree has been infested, you're gonna see this structural damage and the integrity of the tree is gonna be compromised. The resulting uh, effects are that when storms roll through or winter time comes in, with the freezing and thawing, you're gonna have branches falling off, causing damage to municipal property, to private property, and potentially to people in and around those trees. On a daily basis, our trained staff are out in the field, out in the community, conducting surveys in an effort to identify infested trees if, if ALB is present in those trees. Uh, they conduct that work by ground surveys from, uh, using binoculars, uh, assessing the trees from all sides. Uh, we also uh, utilize trained staff who can climb those trees and get that much closer look. Uh, once those trees are identified, either by looking at the egg sites that are left by the female or the exit holes that are left by the emerging adult. Uh, we then document that tree uh, and set up plans for removal.